Okay, so in terms of elections, we have um, normally four positions that the teachers would have a chance to vote for. Of those four positions, three are uncontested. Um, those three include the national president, national secretary, and the national treasurer. So there's only one position that um, we'll be voting for, and that's the position of first vice president. Can you share with us uh, the persons who are either nominated or who have offered themselves to run for that position? Okay, for the two persons, we have Brother Otilio Munoz from the Orange Rock Branch, and then we have current first vice president, Brother Luke Palazzo from Punta Gorda Branch. Give us an understanding of perhaps some of the achievements that have taken place within the union over the past year or so, or since last you met as a national body? Well, one of the things that we've done that our members have really appreciated has been the visit to schools. Um, as you may know, we have been visiting a lot of our schools. Just doing visits just to get to see our teachers at the workplace and to, you know, just to hear from them anything that they wanted to share with us. And so a lot of them have co commented that, you know, it has been the first time that they are seeing a national president visiting them for no reason at all. So that has been one of our um, of our achievements, and also we've been trying to finalize our negotiations. We are not there yet, but we are, are much closer to finalizing that. We are hoping that we can do so very soon. And aside from that, looking at the, uh, the matter of our teachers and their hardship allowances that, that they should be getting in terms of the rural areas. So those have been some of the issues that we've been dealing with. Aside from addressing matters of increments, matters of, of teachers' um, employment, um, the allowances for them getting those on time. Those have been some of the bigger issues that we've dealt with over the past year.